everybody, what's going on? Gibbo Island for Two Tom Murphy here. Hope you're doing well. It's great to see you, and you're very welcome to yet another Microsoft Flight Simulator quick fix video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about custom POIs. Yes. So why would you want to create your own custom POI? Well, there's loads of reasons, I suppose. One is to easily return to a particular location that you can find in the sim. Maybe it's another to, you know, add in POIs that might be missing that are of interest to you. Or a third might be, you know, if you want to help people along a flight plan, maybe adding in some waypoints. So, without further ado, let's jump straight in and take a look how to do it. So, a special call out to Gabriel who left a comment in the last video, and he says, Here's a question for you. Can you actually save coordinates into the sim so you can return whenever you like? Uh, and Gabriel, yes, is the answer, and this is what I'm going to show you here and thanks for the inspiration for this video so jumping over to google maps just off the coast of dublin well there's a beautiful if i go to hoth there's a beautiful little island here called ireland's eye not much goes on there but it's fun to take a quick boat ride out to so this is ireland's eye as i say quite small and if i jump over to the sim what you'll notice is that if i can jump over to the sim there we go all right so here we are and if I zoom in, well, unlike, you know, POIs elsewhere, there's nothing here for Ireland's Eye. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a POI for Ireland's Eye here. And if I jump in here to the search box, I type in Ireland's Eye. Again, no search results. So that does not exist. So we're going to go ahead and create it. So what we'll do is we'll just jump straight into the sim. I'm going to choose any airport. I'll go for Dublin. It doesn't really matter at this stage. And I'll load in. So here I am loaded in the sim at Dublin. And I'm going to take a spin out to Ireland's Eye and just check it out. Okay, so there's Ireland's Eye, we're getting up nice and close. As you can see, there's no POI listed within the sim for Ireland's Eye, so that's what we're going to add. All right, so how do we do that? First of all, hit escape, and we're going to enable developer options. Go to general, go to developers, change that to on, apply and save. Okay, go back, resume. Under dev mode, we'll go for new project. And we're going to create a nice new folder. Let's just do it on our desktop. And uh, yes, I'm going to call it POI, just for simplicity's sake. Okay, select folder. Under project name, POI, create new project. Okay, now it's asking for a package name, title, we'll call it POI. Go for custom, under package name here, we'll go POI. And content type, we're going to change this from miscellaneous to scenery. Click next, asset group, and the all POI will do. I'm going to change this to uh, BGL and click create. And that's our project created. Now there are a couple windows that we'll need here. So we do need this project editor one. Uh, I've also got this inspector here. And um, yes, let's go for, um, if I go under tools and I go for scenery editor as well, we'll need this particular window. And there's one more that we'll need in a moment. There's objects as well that we will need. If you don't have objects, well, if you go to Scenery Editor and then View and Objects, just click that to enable the Objects window. Okay, so I'm going to click uh, Load an Editor. So I'll click my project, POI, Load an Editor. So we're working definitely in the right project. I'm going to close Material Editor. I don't know why that's opened. I actually don't need it. So I'm going to navigate out to, actually, why don't I pop in the coordinates, just like I showed you in the previous video. To do that, go to Google Maps, right click, and it gives us our coordinates there. So I go to Windows, and then Teleport, and I just pop in the coordinates here. So 53, excuse the back and forth, 567, and here it was minus 606, uh, 288. And I click go to lat log. That's a quick way just to bring me out to where I want to go. And I probably have typed it in wrong, have I? Mm 
No, it's actually perfect. I'm right there. It was actually perfect. Right, so I'm over uh, Ireland's Eye right now. So I'm just going to move the things out of the way just so you can see them a bit clearer. Okay, so all we're going to do, it's very simple. We're going to, under objects here, this particular window, we're going to change it from scenery to landmark location. Under here, we've got POI, city, fauna, etc. We're going to go for POI, and then there's the add button here. We'll click on add. It brings out these particular arrows, and we're just going to drag them to wherever we think uh, seems right. So right in the middle, I think, uh, is perfect. Now, all we need to do is back over here, we click on landmark POI, and I go to view, and then properties. Now, under properties, it asks for type POI, that's perfect, name, if you want to pop in your name there, feel free, uh, because that's not your name, it's actually the name of the POI itself. <laughs> so, we'll go for Ireland's Eye. So, console, Ireland's Eye, that opened, I, and your owner, so that's your name. I won't pop in again, but why not? That's it done. That's your POI created. It's that straightforward, folks. So you can create as many of these as you like. You can just keep going to a particular location, keep clicking add, and adding a list of POIs, which is very handy to do it all in the one place rather than uh, having to create separate projects each and every time. Okay, so we're happy enough with that. What we're gonna do now is down here, it says save scenery. Now it is important when you click this that you do pop it in the right folder or else it will not work. So the correct folder is under POI and then package uh, sources, nearly did it wrong there myself, under scenery, under POI and POI again. Here again, you can call it whatever you like. I'm just gonna call it Ireland's Eye and click save so it has to be in that particular location again i'll just repeat it's in package sources scenery and then whatever you've called it right to the end and there's where it saved it for me okay now all we need to do is go back to our project and if we go up to build and export here it'll ask us do we want to pop it into the marketplace i do not or do we want it for community publishing which is absolutely fine so i'm just going to create a new export directory again a nice clean folder so i'm just going to call this poi export again on my desktop is perfect select that build and export folks that's it done so let's go ahead and check out what it's actually exported we're going to go ahead and open that particular folder Go to my desktop here and I go to POI export. It's created a folder called community and in that it's created a, a zip file. So the contents of this zip file is what you'd want to pop into your community folder. So if I, ex I extract that, let's take a look. There it is, test POI and in there is scenery. So this test POI, I'm just gonna pop into my community folder, reload the sim and let's have a fly and see what it looks like. Here we are loaded back in in the sim. I'm going to click on world map and I'm going to zoom in just off the coast of Ireland and there we can see Ireland's eye. Let me make it a little bit brighter so we can see exactly what we're looking at. And there it is, our new POI. And it also works in the search box as well. So if I type here you can see under POI there it is so we're gonna set that as our departure and check it out from the air and here we are folks flying over Ireland's eye complete with new custom POI that we newly created how good does that look <laughs> and folks that's it for today's video. I do really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do consider giving it a like. And just like Gabriel, if you have any comments, queries, or suggestions for new videos, please do leave them in the comment box below. And of course, Mr. Two-Tone Murphy himself streams Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at the new time of 2000 Zulu. It'd be great to see you there. It's a lot of fun. Until the next one, we'll be back soon. Take care. Bye now.